civil war in Pakistan tonight. Federal troops are reported fighting mobs armed with rifles and even sticks and stones in Dhaka, Chittagong, and other major cities in East Pakistan. In a radio broadcast, President Yahya Khan accused East Pakistan's leader, Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, of treason and ordered the army to take any steps necessary to restore the authority of the government. A clandestine radio station calling itself the Voice of Independent Bengal broadcast that Rahman has declared East Pakistan an independent nation. In Dhaka yesterday, Rahman, who has long fought for self-government for East Pakistan, addressed a rally of his followers. The 51-year-old sheikh is the leader of the Awami League, a political party that won a landslide victory in national elections last December. It was the country's first freely elected national assembly in its 23-year history. But because of differences between Rahman and President Khan, the assembly has never been convened. There are some 75 million persons in East Pakistan. The feeling is strong there that the central government, a thousand miles away in West Pakistan, has been treating them as second-rate citizens. The fact is that East and West have little in common, even speaking different languages. Rahman has asked if anybody can stop East Pakistan's drive towards self-government. Oh, nobody can stop it. What's the enemy of East Pakistan? Nobody can stop it. Autonomy? Oh, definitely. Don't get it stopped by autonomy. More than that. More than autonomy. No question of this and that. I want my rights. Emancipation. I want my emancipation. Why yeah. Pakistan cannot do anything about it? Who can do anything when 70 million people are united behind Even us? Even with the army. What damn army can do? We don't care for them. They can suppress yeah, yeah. my people's bullets. So you're already the chief of uh, independent Bengal. De facto, yeah. not legally, but de facto. What? I am the president of the people of Bengal, legally, morally. I am the man who can govern this country. There are some 1,100 Americans in East Pakistan, and so far as is known, none of them has been harmed in the violence. The State Department has not decided whether they should be evacuated.